This place has some bad blood. Back in 2346, the Romulan military launched a massive attack that slaughtered all the Klingon colonists here and took the planet. The Klingons took it back in the chaos after Shinzon's rebellion. This is the first time since then that they've allowed Romulans to be here. We should be careful. The Klingons aren't going to be in a great mood. Just having us here will be a reminder of what's happened. Datan is waiting for us with the rest of the Romulan diplomats in the Hall of Conquest. All right, let's go meet Datan. takes to be put in the gallery of honor. Chamber of Conquest. Let's hope one day the Klingons turn their attention to the Tall Shi'ar. Uh, yes, let's definitely hope that. It's good to see a friendly face. The air here is a bit... tense right now. I need to stay here and prepare for Empress Sela's arrival, which I'm sure will not be pleasant. Could you speak with the Klingon and Federation delegations? See what they're thinking, get a feel for how the negotiations will go, and most importantly, try to convince them of our sincerity. That sounds like a good plan. What can I do to help? We're still working on an agreement, but an initial proposal is on the table. The Federation and Klingons will help us establish new Romulus, as long as they can set up embassies on the planet. 
They wish to use this as a chance to acquire Romulan technology and Romulan allies. We need assistance to create a new world. It's a give and take. One that will hopefully work. You can start by speaking with some of the delegates from the Klingon Empire and the Federation. Just because an initial proposal has been presented does not mean the conference is over. Far from it. Any information you can get me about what they're thinking will help when it comes time to present our case. Tovan, what do you think? I think we should do whatever we can to stop the Tal Shiar. If that means making an alliance with Starfleet or the Klingons, fine with me. I would be worried about us getting dragged into their war, but I expect that they're both more interested in our cloaking designs than our people. I say we go with whoever is most willing and able to help us against the Tal Shiar. That's all that really matters. We must be careful not to let vengeance blind us in our attempts for freedom. In the meantime, I would ask you to speak with delegates from the Klingon Empire and the Federation. Just because an initial proposal has been presented does not mean the conference is over. Far from it. Any information you can get me about what they're thinking will help when it comes time to present our case. I will do everything I can, Daton. Hall of Heroes. They're probably Klingon heroes who killed Romulans. No doubt. I understand their stance, but still... There are issues. The would-be Romulan Republic is weak and fractured. How could an alliance benefit us? Shall we address these Gorn here, Tovan? to start somewhere, correct? What do you have to offer the Empire? Ah, one of the town's followers. Greetings. I am Ambassador Stas, representative for the Klingon Empire. I am curious. What exactly does your group have to offer the Klingons in an allegiance? The town is no warrior and Klingon politics have little in common with Romulan machinations. The Tarn's groups are survivors. We fight the Tal Shiar day and night. Nothing is impossible. You do have a point. The fact that you've survived this long against the Tal Shiar says something about your people. 
However, it does not say whether or not you are in the right in this civil war of yours, or if this is just an elaborate Romulan plot. We shall see just how trustworthy you are in the days to come. You will see the truth of our words soon enough. Diplomacy makes for thirsty work. The Federation ambassador can't hold his teeth together for more than a minute. The Vulcan just stares daggers at everyone. Half my delegation are a breath away from ripping into the Starfleeters like rampaging targs, and we're all stuck in here with you backstabbing Greenbloods. Did I offend you? Get used to it. We don't have a reason to trust you yet, and I don't know if we ever will. Maybe I could help you with the thirst. Perhaps a mug of blood wine will do. Tovan, let's see if what we can find. seem to be all empty. Stuff smells horrid. No way I would drink it. At least you have some manners. Nice to know that you aren't all as ill-bred as the stories say. What are your thoughts on the peace treaty? We are Klingon! Ah, you don't even respond to an insult. Looks like you're on your best behavior. Since we're being diplomatic, I suppose it could be said that you people may not be entirely worthless. But just because you know when to bring a Klingon a drink, does not mean we are friends. I'm keeping an eye on you and your kind. Very well. The Klingons don't seem too thrilled with the idea of being allies. Maybe we'll have better luck with the Federation. Maybe. Let's see what we can do.
Greetings from the United Federation of Planets. One of our new potential allies. I am Jugo, Jiro Sugihara, a representative of the Federation Diplomatic Corps. Let's talk, shall we? Yes, I'd love a chat. Now, please don't take the cool reactions of some of my colleagues as an indication of how the whole of the Federation feels. There is a history between our two governments, but I believe with some work we can all come to a peaceful agreement. Don't you agree? I was hoping we... Of course you do, of course. Why else would you and other fine and forward-thinking Romanans such as Datan be present here at this conference? I like to think of us all, I like to think of all of us, Federation, Klingon, and Romulan alike as engineers. We're building bridges to a newer, brighter future. We're architects, designing the vital load-bearing structures upon which we might build vital cooperative efforts. But before we get to the window dressing, of course you know where we must begin. Yes, we could start. Why, with the foundations. You knew that, of course. Why, there's nothing we cannot achieve if we are able to continue to sit down and discuss our differences and, bit by bit, measure by measure, work through them and learn from one another. We must start fresh. So, as one potential friend to another, and I ask this entirely as a personal question, how do you feel about reunification? I know there are a lot of people in the Federation still opposed to it, but I am certain that if we simply sit down together and discuss the issue rationally, we can... Come to see that reunification is a wonderful idea, isn't it? Bringing long lost brothers back together and mending hurts from so long ago. Really, that's what the Romanin and Vulcans are, do are, don't you think? A family divided. It's a shame. I think of my daughter. She's a lovely girl, takes after her mother in many respects. She's on Bajor now, but I love seeing her as much as possible. I couldn't imagine how dreadful being separated from her would be. But that's what Romulans and Vulcans must feel all the time. That's why I believe that reunification, reunification should happen as soon as possible. Imagine all the wounds it would heal, the pain that would go away. That would only be the start. If Vulcans and Romulans could fight peace, why not peace with the Klingons, the Hirogan? It would be a wake-up call to all races that peace, prosperity, and unity are all possible. Our Federation has its problems, but we've learned to live and work together. There is no reason we all can't do so. Yes, yes I do. If you'll excuse me. Enthusiastic is definitely the word, Tovan. We must be vigilant. Admiral? I know you're kind too well to ever trust what you say. I will not be taken in by your attempts to be disarming. If you don't trust us, then why are you here? I'm here as a representative of Starfleet and an expert on Romulan affairs, and to ensure my companion does not surrender all of the Federation in an effort to build foundations. I have spent more than three decades defending the Federation from Romulan plots. I have seen all of the tricks, the deceptions, all of the treachery that is born of hubris. Romulans believe they are superior to all other species. That is incorrect. It will take a great deal of effort to deceive me. I do not suggest that you try. This is not a trap, Admiral. You will see. Shall we report to Detan, Tovan?
Jolan True, what do you have to report? There's doubt everywhere. We will have to be careful not to- This conference is a farce. Sila! You're not trying to found a settlement. You're rebelling against your sovereign. You're stirring up dissent with your wild stories of mysterious aliens and colony attacks. Wild stories? Until now, I gave your little movements some leeway because I thought I could convince you to see the error of your ways. This ridiculous conference shows me I've been far too forgiving. You! How could you? Toven! That's enough! You two! Please leave this to Tamer and me! Unbelievable. How can that woman stand there and deny everything? If you ask me, the only thing worse than the tall Shi'ar is the politician who lies for them. There should be no allegiance with such... Hold on. We're getting a message from the ship. What is it? They're picking up odd ships on sensors. Ships that match the one we scanned back when the colony was destroyed. Good. Now they'll have to deal with us, the Klingons, and the Federation. Lekis, inform the Klingons we have an uninvited guests. We're gonna need a new plan. Jamero, the Klingon com command base has ordered us to remain in orbit and leave the defense of Kittimer to them. However, I am certain that the singularity signature I'm detecting is the same ship that was in orbit on Virnat during the attack. This could be the person responsible for the destruction of the colony. Do we investigate despite the Klingons' objections? Of course we do. Beam to the ship. <laughs>